I'm Judy Green and welcome back to Nat Chat. Now before the break I was talking with Marilyn Smith um, about the profound effect her um, power of soul is having on her. So Marilyn, before the break, um, you were talking about the time of September 11 and with Master Shah and how that did have a profound effect. And in fact, when I was, um, before the break, I was so engaged in what you were saying, I was like, I don't think I said a word or even asked a question. So um, could you share with the viewers in the ways that it's um, changed your life? I'd be happy to. In relationship to that one workshop, uh -huh. I had a way of actually measuring and evaluating the impact it made on me. And, and how was that? Oh, you're going to say. That was, um, there were two public figures, and I won't name them because they are public figures, but when I would even think about these people and the decisions they were responsible for and the negative impact it had on people, I would really get very angry. I couldn't even speak their names out loud without getting angry. At the end of that first day, I could think of both of those in a way that was completely peaceful. And that, to me, was absolutely profound. It, 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 the huge transformation that took place. Now, was that because of Master Shah um, talking and explaining to the people in the workshop, you know, about love and things like this, or, or was this because of the continual chanting, or what do you think? I mean, it's one thing, I mean, we, you know, to, by the end of the day, to actually feel um, so consciously different from going from, I don't want to say hatred to love, I mean, it, you know, people carry those sort of grudges the rest of their life, so exactly. that certainly is profound. So how do you, to actually, own that feeling, um, how could you explain that? Well, as I had mentioned before, when Master Shah told us to do this chanting, he told us to be in the condition, to be God's light. But how that's do you be, whole, I, I, I mean, a, I'm sorry. It's, it's a different experience. But to, how does he explain for people to be in God's light, if you know what I mean? And that, I'm glad you phrased it that way, because it's not to be in God's light, it is to be God's light. Mm -hmm. And you do that simply by making that focus. So there's not a step-by-step -step kind of uh, process. First you do this, first you do, and then, and then, and then, and then. You simply um, get yourself quiet the way that you would for a normal um, meditation practice. And the focus is not on being surrounded by God's light or in God's light. The focus is to be God's light, which is, for many people, a new focus. I would think so. Mm. Yeah. We are not accustomed to being the mantra we chant. And so this is really, a, this is part of the new teaching that Master Shah brings to us. So Marilyn, you talked about such a profound effect it has on you. And at the end of the, the day of the first seminar, because it went over two days, um, I'm sure you all shared experiences and things like that. And, um, you know, I'm always interested to particularly hear about the experience of the person that I'm talking to right now. But um, could you share some of the experiences that other people talked to you about that they were having? Yes. In fact, Early in the day, uh, we didn't even have to wait until the end of the day, but early in the day, Master Shah asked um, if anybody in any of the participants had third eye abilities, which means to be able to see images from the soul world. Uh -huh. And um, quite a few of them did. And before we had... So how, how, sorry for interrupting, but how do you, how... It's probably hard to explain, but to see images from the soul world, what sort of images may that be? Think of the soul world, and it can be any image from the soul world. So the possibilities are almost infinite. They can be images. For some people, it's images of light. For some people, it's images of holy beings. For some people, it's... Um, 
images of heaven's animals, flowers, things like that. There's a huge variety. So this would be while you're chanting with the eyes shut, is this when the images would come? Yes, yes. And so for some of the people at the beginning, before we had started the chanting, they saw images of those who had died. And for some of those who had died, they were like wandering around very confused. They didn't know what had happened to them. It was so sudden. Some were very angry. Some were very um, sad. They weren't going to see their families again, their friends. There was a whole wide range of, of responses. I keep and getting goosebumps myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was so, so, I can't, can't really put into words what it was like. Um, and as we did the chanting, after maybe about a half an hour, 45 minutes of chanting, Master Shah would ask if anyone had other third eye images. Now, how could you describe the third eye experience? Um. That it's, it would be like looking at a picture. So instead of having the picture be external, it's internal. Okay. And in the region of the third eye, which is actually in the region of the pineal gland in the brain. And do you think through the um, chanting that helped open it up in people? Yes, and some people have had that ability since they were small children. Their pineal gland never atrophied, and some people it actually opened for them during the day. Some people it opened more fully. But as we did the chanting, they actually saw many of the people who were confused turn and head towards the light. Those who were angry, there was healing for them. Those who were sad, there was healing for them. And they could see the transformation on the level of the soul. So to be able to participate in that type of an, of an experience and to realize that by our chanting, healing came to so many people. It was such an honor. It was absolutely a profound honor. I could imagine. Now I want to talk more about all these um, practices, if we, is such a word of saying it, but we must go for a quick break again. So you've been watching that chat, so don't go too far away and I'll be back with Marilyn Smith and we're going to get uh, more into the whole, whole soul healing.